Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about the extraordinary, abundant, ridiculous benefits of Shisandra Berry. Let me tell you about the past and go into this a little bit in depth. Shisandra Berry is a quintessential herb that has been used as the top tonic herb ever since the beginning of Chinese herbalism 5,000 years ago. It is right up there ranked with the likes of Rishi, Ginseng and goji berries. It was written about even in the Pharmacopoeia herbal texts of Shen Nong, which was written in the 1st and 2nd century AD, just about 2000 years ago. Even then it was ranked as one of the best of the best of the best. And let me tell you why it's considered one of the best of the best of the best of the best. Because it basically works, does everything almost. It works on all systems and organs of the body, which is miraculous and something that's very rare. For this reason, it's excellent, and I'll get into this, it's excellent for some certain specific target specific things. But it's amazing as an all-rounder. It's really phenomenal. Some of you may know of Ron Teagarden, who are already into herbalism a lot. He's the founder of Dragon Herbs, an excellent herb company. <laughs> but his his Taoist grandmaster teacher, what was his name? Somebody, um, Sung Jin Park or something. His favorite herb was Shizanda berries. Shizanda was actually a very, very revered, respected, and loved herb of Taoists, and they were energy longevity cultivators. They cultivated energy. They cultivated longevity and youthfulness into old age, suppleness, flexibility and really, really amazing health. And they also cultivated the heart, wisdom, and physical endurance, stamina and power. So the reason Shizandra is so good is because as I was saying it works in all systems and elements. Water, fire, metal, wood and earth. Water is your kidneys. Okay. And what this means in Chinese medical system, for everyone who's listening who's from the West, the, they had five kidney systems, but each system could correlate with like two or more different organs. For example, um, the liver is, would be the liver and gallbladder. It's, it's your spleen. It's your, your, your digestive power. Liver, gallbladder, digestive power. Your, the kidney system, for example, this is a very important system. This is, this is associated with the most important thing in Chinese medical, medicine um, that I'm aware of, that I view as the most important, and basically that's what I keep hearing, it is the most important, that is Jing, which is your life force essence, your ultimate base power. It's what goes down with age, a lot of stress, and overactivities of various different things. It's what characterizes someone who's young, like a teenager or a person growing up. They're subtle, subtle, supple, flexible, adaptable, youthful. They have good, good, fresh, healthy, tight skin. Uh, their bones are strong. They recover fast. All of this has got to do with your gene energy. And in the West, this also is associated with your... So the kidney energy, your gene... Um, this is your kidney, your um, your urinary tract, your your literally your kidneys, and also your adrenals. It's also your sexual energy and sexual strength and vitality, fertility, virility, libido, etc. Also, um, Shizandra is a strong, a good kidney herb. It does help restore the strength of your kidney system and your adrenals, your adrenal strength. Um, there's a few different things. Let me let me go through what Susandra does, okay? The main systems it works on are your your lungs and in Chinese herbalism that also means your immune system also. Um, it also is very, works on your, your brain, your liver, um, lungs, central nervous system, and your heart, your heart system, okay? So, 
your heart in Chinese Hebrewism is related to Shen, which is one of the three treasures. So, Shizandra, like goji, is pretty much known as a happy fruit. They say if you take Shizandra for 100 days, you're going to have glowing, soft, supple and radiant skin, or at least vastly improved, depending on how, how bad you were. And you're going to have a lot more energy in life, because you're going to feel better. You're going to feel better at heart, um, emotionally, um, happiness. Um, but you're also, um, you're also going to look better, and your skin is going to look better. So, Shizandra is, works on, it's been shown scientifically to work on the central nervous system. Um, that helps to both relieve, re, relieve stress, tension and anxiety, and cortisol levels from your adrenals. And it helps, but it helps to invigorate you at the same time. It, not exactly like coffee, not as strong as coffee, but it's definitely like coffee, similar to coffee, but without the nervousness and without the sort of agitation. So it helps wake you up. It's, it's a brain tonic. It's, it's been shown to help your cerebral cortex, um, and your memory, focus and concentration. So it's really good to help you work better and perform better mentally. And um, because of what I just said, it's also been used to help people with ADHD and to help them just to calm down and relax and to find balance. Because at the end of the day, Shizandra is basically one of the best adaptogenic herbs in the world. So, really, really excellent for those purposes. So what else does it do actually, apart from what I just said, the heart, cardiovascular, it's very good physically, so for blood flow and also blood purification, purifying the blood and also for um, blood vessel health. So blood vessel health, flow and circulation of the blood, which is really good because we, the blood delivers nutrients to our cells, so it's very, very important, including to our brain. and all the root tissues and organs of our body. And you want a good, strong, healthy heart and it helps that and blood vessel health and strength also. It's used for your lung system also, which is correlates with your immune system in the West. So your lungs and your immune system. So with the lungs, it's very good if you have, let's say a dry cough or asthma, it helps bring balance and harmony and wellness if you have like asthma or a dry cough or raspiness, or if you have excessive like fluid um, moistness and wetness in your lungs, it'll help bring balance so it'll become less overly, you know, too wet or whatever else the case may be, too much moisture there. So that's 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 the lungs. What else to do associated? So yeah, with the immune system, it's been shown to increase um, interferon interleukin and macrophages in your immune system. So it's very good for enhancing and uplifting our immune system. So that's the lungs. So heart, lungs, kidneys. Let's go into the kidneys, okay? So this is your adrenals, your urinary tract system and your kidneys. Next I go on to liver, but now I'm going to stick, go for the uh, the kidneys, okay? This is a really, really important thing because most of us in today's culture are wiped out or really tired or fatigued with our adrenals. We either have chronic fatigue syndrome or we have no energy or we're low in energy and or we just don't, we just don't recover fast or have a lot of zest and energy and yang power for life. Stuff like drugs, just um, drugs like you know hard drugs or smoking drinking and pharmaceutical drugs you get from from the pharmacy from the pharmaceutical industry these all reduce our kidney power they affect our kidney system our jing as the chinese say jing is the most important they affect the jing which isn't good excessive sex excessive stress excessive work ex, ex, um, they all tire out our jing excessive pollution and excessively poor diet reduces our gene very very sapping you don't want that that that's 
Jing determines your quality of life and how well you live into old age. It's the number one thing you want to nurture, nurture and what the Taoists and the tonic herbalism, and the best herbs in Chinese herbal medicine, help us to do, to rebuild Jing. This is what Shizandra does. But you know what? Shizandra is actually very special. It's the only herb I know of that helps, what they say, lock in Jing. It helps prevent the excessive leakage and loss of Jing. So this is another reason, apart from the ones I just mentioned, where you will, you might want to consider taking Shizandra as part of your daily regime. So for happiness, emotional health, emotional balance and well-being. For your lungs, for, for energy restoration and to build up the strength of your adrenals and reserve deep power. And another reason I'm getting to, here's another really, okay, so have I finished this point? No, the kidneys. <laughs> It's actually very, do you know what is used traditionally in Chinese herbalism for, for actually in sexual tonics because Shizandra helps prevent the excessive loss of liquids and fluids in our body such as if, if you have if you have just loose stools for example, you're not like prop, not proper bathroom visits, it'll help tighten them up a bit, dry them up a little bit so you don't, you're not having poor stool and you're not losing excessive liquid and moisture. If it'll uh, help prevent excessive sweating, which is often associated from stress and high cortisol levels. So by reducing your cortisol levels from your adrenals and reducing your stress and relaxing your central nervous system and your brain, it'll also help lock in and help prevent excessive sweating. It'll also help prevent um, excessive urination because I, I have one friend, good friend, he happens to urinate excessively and they do say all this excessive like moisture loss, peeing etc is somehow related to wasting and leaking jing which you don't want to do. So there are handy practical purposes where Shizandra comes in handy too and, and as well as making your skin look more supple, fresh, beautiful over time. I'll get to that in one moment. So as a sexual tonic, Shizandra has been shown to just just getting back to the thing to losing fluids, it also helps in preventing or lessening nocturnal emissions in men. So so that moves me on to the sexual tonic part. It's been shown and is used traditionally as a sexual tonic for both men and women. In men it helps increase fluids in men and increase staying power. <laughs> so that's two pretty awesome things there, which for this reason alone, many people say, and I'd even agree, this is a good thing for men at the very least. Now for women, it helps increase water to the, ge to the genitals or liquid fluids to the genitals. So it helps bring fluid and blood flow there, moistness, etc, etc, etc. It helps actually enhance your sexual enjoyment for what I just said a moment ago and because it helps increase sensitivity of your genitals. So a lot of women might be interested in taking this hair for, for all of the other reasons and I forgot to say a second ago because it also related to your, your kidney energy and the brain and central nervous system. It actually helps and the de-stressing helps actually to people to sleep better, relax more and get a better night's sleep. And this helps people with insomnia, for example, or just helping you to get a better night's sleep, a deeper sleep. But moving down again, literally moving down, it's very, very potent and used in like for sex as a sexual tonic. So this is just one reason, if it did this alone, for man or women, you might be interested in this. But for me personally, for rebuilding your strength of your kidneys, your adrenals, that is probably my favorite reason, like, you know, along with everything else. Because this is very important with for me because, you know, you're either born weak or, or then you just, it's very hard to rebuild your jing. Or you're born with a lot of energy and then you just crash it all because you've so much energy but you have the, the unwisdom of youthfulness and you just crash and burn. That's what I did. So then for the last many, four, four or five years I've been rebuilding my jing from being wasted and now um, power again and this your jing is totally and utterly related to your sexual power energy vitality vigor and virility so 
When it's low, you got a low sex drive. When you when it goes up, you got more sex drive when you recover faster. So, uh, Cisandra does help replenish your liquids and your sexual strength, of course. So this moves me on to the other organ system, um, which Cisandra works on. Apart from your immune system, which is associated with the lungs, and your kidney, and adrenals, and sexual function, and the central nervous system and brain. And also your your heart and shen, happiness, peace, relaxation, and feeling benevolent, kind, and loving, and part of the universe. This is shen. This is up there with rishi and polygala and asparagus root. All are also sold. And more information on my inspired herb shop, Higher Self Herbs, which you see in the links below the video. You can check out some formulas I have, as well as like different single herbs. But getting back to this Andrew, the last reason, and this is associated with why it actually helps beautify the skin, and that is because Shizandra, unlike many Western herbs that, that, that are work on the liver, um, many of the Western herbs, they, they work in stage one detoxification of the liver, which is removing organs like maybe environmental pollutants, any plastic residues, chemicals, toxins, wastes. It'll help to get rid of them, but it doesn't really help to deal with them when they're in circulation and going out of the body, and so you can feel sick sometimes. Shisandra is, is one of the not so many at all herbs that I know of, for sure, that does stage 1 and stage 2. And this is the initial detoxification in the body and from the liver, but also stage 2, which is um, helps to harmlessly guide them out of your body for complete elimination. So. Shizandra does one and two, and as a, as a result of this, it's considered and it feels very gentle on your body because you don't experience like bad, worse or bad detox symptoms than what's necessary. So, um, so this is one of the reasons why um, it helps to beautify your skin. One of the reasons because liver and toxins in general are very and very associated and your diet is very associated with the health and the looks of your skin so and I th yeah it helps Shizandra over time helps it produce a dewiness like a moisture of the skin and that's because it helps lock in the liquids and moisture so that's another reason why Shizandra helps to beautify the skin so 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 I think that's basically everything um, yeah, you can either have it as a tea. I, I sell loose organic um, shizandra berries, which you can make a tincture out of, or you can simply make as a tea, which is very, very simple. Um, here's a tea that I made earlier today, or yesterday. It's like very, very nice. It's very unusual, by the way, and one of the reasons why shizandra works in all five organ systems um, and all five elements. And and, and all 12 meridians, the nutrients, the compounds, the, the materials and the energy of the Shizandra go into all 12 energy meridians, which is very important. And that's why it helps bring harmony, balance and power, homeostasis and a good working together of all of the systems of the body. It's very brilliant. Um, and guess what? It's the only food. This is correlates together. It has, it's called the five flavored fruit. In Chinese medicine, it's called Wei Witsi. Or something like that. <laughs> I actually bought some in Asia fresh and then I also have some from a herb shop now. So not only do I sell um, the loose berries which you can make tea of very easily, you can al I also sell herbal extracts which are simply a powdered concentrated extract and with that you can simply add to hot water to make a new, a new tea, instantaneous tea. Or you can add it to your smoothies, or to your juices, or to warm or cold water. You can basically add it anyway. And the fla the five flavored fruit it has like sweet, sour, hot, sweet, sour, pungent, bitter, and spicy. It's crazy. It tastes very weird. If you ever chew them, they taste really intense and unusual. Like hard to describe in many ways. Like you can't you have to taste it to be honest. <laughs> so for all of these reasons. If you're interested in these, yeah, check out my links below. You can get them from my herb shop, Hire Self, Sorry Self Herbs. Um, also have a look at some of my other herbs like Rhodiola, top adaptogen, also like Shizandra. Rhodiola is sensational. Like, um, 
Eucomia, um, Goji, Hoshu Wu. I was just telling my friend there, like Hoshu Wu has been scientifically proven. You can increase your sperm count by four times in one month. And it's great. There's so many stuff. Just check out my other videos, my other like things in my shop. There's so much good in-depth information. I'm really excited about herbs. I love herbs. They're such amazing tools on the, the journey of life, the spiritual journey, the journey. And yeah, I just love them, you know. So yeah, Rishi is awesome for like spiritual, mental, emotional health and physical. Like not every herb at all contains the three treasures. This contains the three treasures, which is Jing, Qi and Shen. Um, Rishi is another one. And then there's others that can even contain, contain a lot of one or even two. There's loads of awesome ones, astragalus, um, that are herbs to check out, Siberian ginseng, amazing adaptogens, great for energy, good for your brain, immune system. You have to just check them out because they all do different things. And yeah, my two best formulas, if you're interested in them, to check them out are strength and rejuvenate. But there's another cool other one, serenity. And of course, there's um, cleanse and there's immune and there's longevity. So they're all below in the description box. So have a look, browse, educate yourself, get excited and have fun browsing and I'll see you again in another video and if you have any questions or comments just please leave them below in the comment box and I'll definitely get back to you because I'll get back to everyone. And So see you again and stay well, healthy and much love to your health. This is Own Fox here, excited about life and herbs. <laughs> see ya. <laughs>